Hey guys, it's Lou. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have an unboxing of my Makeup Net Australia, whatever it's called, Makeup Net Australia. Is that what they're called? Their um, mystery box. I did purchase the large one. I think it was a hundred something dollars. And um, yeah, we're just going to run through what's inside. I already have had a peek because yet again, like I said in my Bella Box unboxing, I did not think I'd have a chance to film these and be able to get them up in time before going away. But I have. Um, I'm pretty happy with what I got in this box. I don't think it necessarily adds up to the value that I was supposed to get, which I still can't remember what that was. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty overly... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with what's in this box. So we're going to run through. The first thing I'm just going to grab from the top is from Om Omglow, O-M-G-L-O. I haven't heard of this brand before. I did look it up on their website afterwards and they've got some pretty cool products. So this is a highlighting finish spray in coffee. It says it's alcohol and paraben free. Um, I'm guessing it's like a shimmery spray. But you can see like the shimmer swirling in it, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'll give this a go. Hopefully it doesn't come out like heaps gold and makes it too dark for me. But yeah, I'll give this one a go. The next thing in here is another skin sort of product. This is from Loving Tan. It's the Bronze Shimmer Lum Luminous Cream. It says instant colour, satin finish and a natural glow. This one is in medium, so it's for light to medium skin tones, which I guess I'd fall under, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't normally use skin tanning products like this it says allow 60 seconds to dry before getting dressed hmm so i might give this a go in the summer which unfortunately has just ended here in australia but yeah i will give this a go next in here is another sort of illuminating product this is from makeup net it's an illuminator i'm going to take it out of the box and this one is a liquid illuminator. It comes with a little dropper and mine is in the shade Pink Opal. Um, I will give this a go. So we'll just plop some out. Oh, it's very pretty. Um, so that is it there. I'm going to try to block everything out so it stops focusing on everything else. And there we go. Um, I am pretty happy that I got something that's going to suit my skin tone. I find in a lot of mini mystery boxes, it's hard because you're really risking things just not working at all on your skin tone. So I understand it's a mystery box, but I do tend to get at least a few products that are way too dark for me to be able to use. I'm sure that it works on the other end of the spectrum as well, where you get lots of products that are way too light for deeper skin tones. This one, for example, I think... It's a nice colour, but I think it could look a little bit sort of like ashy and, and a bit patchy and white. Like, I think it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's very geared to light skin tones, light medium skin tones. I think on deeper skin it could look a little tiny bit like too silver and ashy. But yeah, I think there's just some examples like this coffee spray. I'm not entirely sure this would work on a skin tone like mine. I don't have the best luck with sort of gold, bronzy sort of products, but I will give it a go. We'll see how we go. But yeah, I just think to keep that in mind when you're ordering a mystery box is that there's probably going to be at least one to two products that maybe don't work the best on your skin tone. I'm sure you can always pass them on to friends though, which is what I do. So the next thing is from Gerard Cosmetics. This is a Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Summer Loving. Guys, get ready. Look how bright that is. Look, and it looks even brighter, like coming out of the tube. <laughs> Whoa, that's intense. So I hadn't swatched it, I just opened it before, but that is intense. Wow. That's a hot pink. Um, I don't really normally go for really bright pinks like this, but I will give it a go. I think that's a good thing about mystery boxes actually on the other hand is it gets to you to try a few different things this is from LA girl it is the pro setting high definition setting spray and that's it there uh, what else have we got from model rock cosmetics we have a base maker blendable coverage pro beauty sponge let's see what this feels like I haven't opened this Oh, it feels like really spongy. Oh, that could be good. So I'll give that a go. I like the colour of it too. It's pretty. 
Next we've got a product from Laura Lee Cosmetics, uh, Laura Lee Los Angeles, sorry. This is in Sweet and Saucy and it's a loose powder highlighter. We'll take it out. It looks like sort of like a rose goldy colour. Let's have a look. I like that it's got the little um, sifter thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open this with my ridiculous nails. Probably not. But I will update you in the next video. This it could potentially be a little bit dark for me, I think. It looks very deep rose gold, but we shall see. I got some lashes from Tarty Lashes, which I've never tried before. Um, these say human hair on them. Is that just the style? Or are they actually made with human hair? Because that's interesting. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I find it interesting that up here I'm going to get it try to focus on it. Right there, it says human hair. Interesting. Uh, these are in TL16. They look very pretty. I don't wear lashes a lot. But yet again, something out of my comfort zone to try. I got this huge thing of the makeup brushes from Makeup Net. I was really excited about this because I hate buying makeup brushes. But at the same time, I did see on, I think it was their Instagram story, that all their brushes were like down to a dollar or something online, which would mean, you know, these were all probably just a dollar now. So this one here is the number three. They do feel really nice, actually. Um, and I like the handles on them, and they're really nice. So that's number three. This big one here is the number one. Again, like really nice and soft. Um, this unusual shaped one here is number 13. I'm not entirely sure what you'd use that for, but it's an unusual shape. I don't have a brush like that. Then you have your fan brush, which is number five. This one looks like something that I would use for highlight all the time. It's number four. It's like a little um, puffy tapered sort of brush. And the last a bigger sort of brush is number two, which to me looks a bit like a foundation or maybe no, maybe more of a blush brush because it's shaped really nicely for blush. Then we have all of these. So I won't run through all the eye ones, but this one's another sort of paint brushy one. This is number 14. And then you've got one, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sort of smaller eye brushes there. The next thing here is another product from LA Girl. So this is a Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Lavender. I've never tried a Lavender Concealer before, so I wouldn't mind giving it a go for my dark circles and maybe some of my uh, pigment patches on my face. So yeah, I was rather excited to see this in my box. Another Laura Lee, cos uh, sorry, I always say cosmetics. It's Laura Lee Los Angeles product. This is a liquid lipstick in the shade Pouty and Nice. I have to say I do sort of like this packaging. I think it's really cute um, and the shape of it's really nice. Let's give this one a swatch. Ooh, that's my sort of colour. That's it there. I really like that colour. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, it smells like vanilla -y. Oh, I like that. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then next is this highlight palette. It's in Blossoms from Lime Crime. This is a product that I think will work, some of them, on my skin tone, and then others I'm not entirely sure. It is lovely though, like those colours are really pretty. I'm trying to block everything so my camera doesn't see everything. So that's it there, I like that middle one, the purpley colour. So that should be fun to play with. And then the last thing in my box, I was really excited to see this because this is from Bessemer Cosmetics and I don't own anything from them and I've been wanting to try their formula. So this is the Mermaid Lagoon palette and it's really cute. It's got like a little picture up here um, with the little like where the shades have come from in the picture and then it's got the little mermaid here which is an actual palette. So when you open it, see it slides out. Um, really cute packaging. 
and then whoops the brush just fell out but then you open it up and I am gonna blind you just for five seconds but the mirror has like mermaids on it it's really cute uh, and then there the colors there the lighting is shocking um, I'll just quickly uh, do some swatches I haven't swatched these yet oh they feel really nice um, where am I going to do this who knows So that's them there. So the mattes feel uh, a little bit basic, but they could be nice when you blend them out on the eyes. That metallic is just beautiful. Let's try some more metallics just to see what they look like. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I think those metallics are going to be super fun to play with. But um, yeah, overall, I was really impressed with what I got in this box. Um, I am definitely going to enjoy playing with some of these products. Um, this is the brush, by the way, that came in the palette I just think it's really cute it's got like mermaid lagoon like on the handle and everything oh, I just think it's really cute so yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing with this makeup box. if you got one of these please let me know down below I'd love to hear what you got or if you've done an unboxing I'd love to check it out so please let me know down below and I will catch you in my next video bye guys